Hey everybody, it's me. Um, I'm doing something kind of unusual. Um, I've decided to make a video about what it was like to have this new show, Call Me Cat, premiere. And I've never had this experience. Um, well, I was on a show when I was 14, that was like my show. Um, but things were so different then, there was no social media, no one had computers or internet or, um, it was just very different. There was no like notion of paparazzi or like people really knowing who I was um, because I had just done Beaches and Blossom came out, you know, after that. But I'm coming off, you know, nine years on a very, very well-known comedy show and then trying something new and it's very scary. So I wanted to talk a little bit about what it's been like. The reason that Call Me Cat exists is because Jim Parsons, who played Sheldon on The Big Bang Theory, um, his production company, That's Wonderful Productions, um, got the rights to Miranda, which was a, a very popular uh, BBC series in the UK for three years about a very unusual woman. And we absolutely made the decision to adapt that story into an American version uh, with me as the main character. And the things that some critics didn't like about our show, which is totally fine, um, are things that we specifically lifted from the original Miranda because that's how we paid tribute to uh, this show that we were based on. So breaking the fourth wall is something that Miranda did and we sort of, um, our, our creator and our, our showrunner, Darlene Hunt, she and I both kind of feel like the camera is another friend for Kat. Um, it's the way that she expresses herself, what's really going on in her head. And as a woman who's 39 and um, not coupled, she is alone a lot. And that doesn't mean she's lonely, but sometimes it means she's lonely. And when you're alone a lot, you do, you have a vivid imagination and you tend to get creative about how you see the world. And one of the ways that Kat sees the world is by including um, this other entity into her world. That's what Breaking the Fourth Wall is for in our show. Another thing that I wanted to address is that um, we are a sitcom. We're a situation comedy and <laughs> It's very important to us that we be entertaining because that's what we do as comedians to the best of our ability. And there's a delicate interplay between writers and actors, but our goal is to be entertaining in a sitcom format. And that means we can't necessarily get as deep as many of us would like, because uh, we have 21 minutes to tell a story and we have 21 minutes to tell the first episode of what we hope is a series. Uh, we have. 13 episodes total that we'll be doing. Uh, but the idea is that we have to introduce all these characters, all these relationships, and the tone and vibe of a show in 21 minutes. And it is not easy. And I think that there was a lot in our first episode that demonstrated many things about this character that I get to inhabit, which happened to be a lot like me. This is a character who's messy. She says things she shouldn't. She sometimes lies when she's uncomfortable. She experiences social anxiety and knows it. And um, interacting with other humans can be very, very uncomfortable for her. And she's a character with a vivid imagination. She is really good dealing with other people's feelings. Um, her own are not as easy. And that is gonna come across as best as we can in our 21 minutes. Another thing about this show, which I think is really special for me as an actor is that this is a show about um, a woman who looks a lot more, I think, like a lot of women than many other female characters that, that we do typically get to see on television. And there's nothing wrong with, um, you know, stunning, attractive, leading lady, uh, skinny types uh, on TV, because those people exist too. Um, but we purposely, you know, Darlene purposely sees in me the ability for women to see a woman who doesn't have plastic surgery. Um, I don't dye my grays, which you can kind of see more in this light than on TV. Um, I don't dress fancy on the show. Um, we made a decision that 
Um, Kat wears sneakers, she wears high tops with dresses, and um, it's an important part of her personality that she's highly accessorized, even when it's not necessarily appropriate. Always earrings and bracelet and rings and all those things. Um, she's a really playful character, and we wanted that to be reflected in her wardrobe and her decisions about how she presents herself. I don't wear Spanx on this show. I don't wear Spanx in real life either. I wear clothes that I feel flatter me as much as possible, even with my uh, grown up woman body. And that means that you may see some like flesh hanging out here sometimes. Um, you know, I have wrinkles in my neck, which many people in Hollywood have procedures so that you don't see wrinkles in, in your neck. I'm not wearing a lot of makeup in this show and my hair is not very done. I wanna look as close to a real person because um, I am a real person and we want this character to be a real person that hopefully people can connect to, maybe identify with, um, maybe draw some strength from. We'll see. I also think it's important to acknowledge that it's very, very difficult to make a television show during a pandemic. Um, we were delayed for a long time and we're super grateful to be working. We have a, a crew and a staff of about 200 people that, that make this show go, even though many of them have to work when the actors are not there or in offices or um, factory, factory aspects um, separate from our actual stage so that we can get the show together. And it's very, it is not a small thing to put a show together during a pandemic. We are not able to have writers on stage. Um, we have Darlene Hunt and Dave Holden, our co-executive producers, um, but we don't have the ability to do things like you do when you're not in a pandemic. So um, it's, it's been a really interesting challenge and mostly, um, you know, critics say a lot of things, but mostly what I've heard is that people laughed and it's been a heck of a year. And our show has a lot of heart and I hope people will give us a chance to show uh, what more we can do. We have a wonderful supporting cast and I really do um, want people to keep watching so that they can see everybody really get to shine um, in their own way. But mostly we want people to enjoy themselves. We want people to, to forget about everything else that's going on and laugh. And we're grateful to be able to do that. I'm grateful for the opportunity. I'm immensely grateful to Jim Parsons for this opportunity um, and for trusting me to, to try and carry this show about a woman who doesn't have it all and is still happy with her life. And I know I can learn a lot from that. So I hope you'll tune in to Call Me Cat. Our regular time is Thursday nights on Fox and um, hope to see you there. Let's have a laugh together.